Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago, I did a little test where I did use this little soda can stove. This is the one with wicking on the side instead of jets. I used this with the Imusa pot. And I got several comments from people saying that, how come I'm using this? It's too close to the uh, bottom of the pot. Isn't it supposed to be like a one inch sweet spot distance? And that is true, but this was a, a little stove made for the Graham Weenie type people. As light as small as I could go. So, of course, it got cut short. The stove is only one inch tall, and the wicking is only about a quarter of an inch down. So I thought maybe what I'd do is try this, but in a larger form. So here, here I have pretty much the same stove, but just taller. It's two inches tall. The wicking is one inch down from the top or one inch up from the bottom. And instead of using a bunch of pieces like I did on this one, where I just put them in through the different jets, this time I only made four holes and one piece of wicking, fiberglass wicking, where I pulled it in and tucked it down on each of the four holes so that it's a little bit uh, nicer on the inside of the pot, inside of the stove rather, down at the bottom. So this is two inches tall. I didn't worry too much about getting this all flat. I don't mind if there's some gaps for the gases to get out because this will heat up and the alcohol will want to vaporize. I have a half of an ounce, fluid ounce of methanol. Put that in there so it soaks into the wicking. I'm hoping that this will still work even with having fewer holes in it that it'll pull the alcohol from both holes and go across. See what happens here. It feels like it's getting wet. That really, that wicking really sucks it up. Okay. So I've got two cups of water here setting at 58 degrees for this test instead of the 60. Let me just put this on the stove. Now this is a stove rather than a burner because it's all one piece. The burner and the pot stand is all in one piece. And it looks like it's centered. Let's get a match here. And this is one where you don't have to wait for it to bloom. You just go in, light the wicking. There it goes. Okay, and let's see where this goes. Okay, flames just about going out, going, going, let's say gone at 354 and 194 degrees. Okay, that was with a half of an ounce of alcohol. You saw on the uh, second camera how wide the flames got, came out here, went up the sides, so it was a big flame and it just burned up that alcohol real fast. So that was two cups of water starting at 58 degrees, got up to 194 degrees, well it's still climbing, 195, in three minutes and 54 seconds. The problem was I only put a half of an ounce of methanol in there. What I'm going to do is let this all cool off. Yeah, it's all empty in there. I'm going to let all this cool off and redo it real quick using a fluid at one ounce, which is what we usually use on most of the tests. But on this little stove, uh, I guess it's efficient, but it's slow. So let me, I'll be right back. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212, 
at 443. Okay, that was two cups of water, this time starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for this to run out. Okay, this is just running on vapors that are coming out of the holes where the uh, the wick is going in and whatever unevenness I had on the top of the stove, but it's still burning just a just a little bit. But let's call it uh, here we go. Let's call it at eight minutes for run out. Interesting. Okay. And again, even though this has been heating up, I can lift it by this handle. It's not, the handle is not hot. Hardly even warm. Okay, let's see here. That's still a bit warm. What we have here is I just duplicated the uh, little soda can stove where it uses wicking rather than jets. It soaks up from the inside and just brings it along the outside. But in this one, I think I had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight holes with small pieces of wicking going in pairs of holes so that it's just on the outside. So it was just little, uh, from here to here is one wick. What I did this time was I only punched four holes on this and used one continuous piece of wicking that I just pulled it in. Can you see there? I just pulled it in so that the loop went down into the reservoir where the alcohol is. But now, instead of being one inch tall, one inch tall with the wicking up near the top, <coughs> This stove was two inches tall with the wicking one inch up. I tried doing this with the half of a fluid ounce, but it burned so fast that uh, in three minutes and 54 seconds, this only got it up to 194 degrees before it ran out. When I put one fluid ounce of, of methanol in here, starting at 60 degrees, it brought the two cups of water to a boil in four minutes and 43 seconds and ran out in eight. So not bad. It would give you safe water to drink as far as pathogens go. On the previous test when I used this, <clears throat> well, half of a fluid ounce of methanol brought two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in seven minutes and 41 seconds. So I guess this was efficient as far as using the uh, alcohol, the methanol, but not very fast. That's what, like, uh, half the time using this one. But then I had to put more uh, fuel in here. So, interesting. Maybe it could still be played around with as far as raising or lowering. On second camera, you saw how wide the flames got because it had such a distance to go before it hit the bottom of the pot. So I hope that helps the people that wanted to see it with a taller taller space between the wicking and the pot again let me just a little synopsis here one fluid ounce brought two cups of water to a full boil in four minutes and 43 seconds and ran out in eight minutes so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input your questions like this remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.